Welcome to the chemistry class. Today we will learn about the nomenclature of aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acids. In this first we will learn the nomenclature of aldehydes and ketones. For naming the aldehydes and ketones we have a common system and IUPAC system. In the common system, the aldehydes are named according to the name of the corresponding car carboxylic acid from which they are formed on oxidation. So what happens? The suffix ic of the carboxylic acid gets changed to the name with the suffix aldehyde. Okay. For example, we have acetic acid CH3COOH. This on oxidation gives CH3CH double bond O. What 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 has happened here? The acetic acid has changed to acetaldehyde. Fine. The name of this acid is acetic acid and this organic compound has the name acetaldehyde. So you can see here that this ic suffix has changed to aldehyde. So this is the system of naming the aldehydes in the common system. Now we will see in the IUPAC system what happens. IUPAC system is the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemists. Fine. So here the aldehydes are named as alkenals. What is the name of aldehydes? Al K Nels. Okay, so like if you have this uh, chemical formula H C H O, the name of this aldehyde uh, is methanol. So how has this methanol came? Here, the name of the aldehyde is derived by replacing the terminal E of the alkane. this terminal E of the alkane by A L. We can have some more examples. This is C H 3 C H O. In the common name, this is acetaldehyde and in the IUPAC name, we have the name here as E -th How has this been derived? From ethane. Okay, this E has been replaced by AL and we got this ethanol name. Fine. Now, in the IUPAC system, if you have a long chain of carbon atoms in a compound, then there you have to find the longest chain that contain the aldehydic group. Okay, and this is considered as the parent chain and the name is derived by replacing the terminal E of the alkane with the corresponding suffix AL. Okay. Now, in the case of substituted aldehydes, the parent chain is numbered in such a way that the aldehydic group CHO gets the lowest number that is 1. Okay. And then the positions of the substituents are indicated by numbers. Now we will understand more about this IUPAC system of aldehyde with the examples. For example, if you have the structure like this C H 3 C H 2 C H C H 2 C H 3. Okay. And here you have a substituent here. But this is not a substituent. 
this is the parent group so according to the iopc system, iopac system of nomenclature the longest chain has to be found out so here what we will do we have to also see that the functional group gets the first number so this will be 1 2 3 and 4 so you, here you have four carb, carbon atoms in the longest chain so the name is going to be 2 ethyl butanal okay we'll do some more example uh c h 3 c h 2 c h 2 c h here you have a substituent br c h c h 3 c h 2 c h so what we will do we will give the lowest number to the functional group okay we will give the lowest number to the functional group and from there we will see where we can get the longest chain of carbon atoms. So let us see here. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. This means the parent alkane was heptane. So what is the uh, parent um, name here? Heptanal going to be heptanal okay and here we have two substituents one is the methyl another one is the bromine so in this uh, bromine and methyl group we will go alphabetically bromine b comes first so we will write the name here four bromo three heptanal Fine. Now we will see the nomenclature of the aldehyde where the aldehydic group is attached to a carbocyclic ring like this one. This is your CH. So what is the name here? This is a this is a cyclohexane. Fine. So, this can be named cyclohexane carboldehyde. Cyclohexane carboldehyde. Okay. So, you have understood about the nomenclature of the aldehyde group. Now we will learn about the nomenclature of ketones. Okay. In the naming of ketones, we have the common system and the IUPC system. In the common system of nomenclature, the ketones are named by using the name of the alkyl groups present in the molecule. For example, CH3. COCH3 this is a ketone with the carbonyl group present in the center and we have here two methyl groups one is this one another one is this one so two methyl groups so this is going to be di methyl ketone okay so what have we done here we have named the ketone by using the name of the alkyl groups present in the molecule one more example we will do uh, we have ch3 co ch2 ch3 so here we have two alkyl groups they are different one is the methyl another is the ethyl so we will go we will write here like Ethyl, methyl, ketone. So, this we have done in the common naming system. Now, we will 
learn about the IOPC system for naming the ketones. For example, if you have a structure like this, CH3, CO, CH2, CH2, CH3. So, according to the IOPAC system, the longest chain carrying the carbonyl group is considered as the parent chain and the name is derived by replacing the terminal E of the name of the corresponding alkane by the suffix O. So, what is to be done? The terminal E of the alkane has to be replaced by O. Okay. So, here we will find out the longest chain and um, the now uh, the carbonyl group must get the lowest number so we'll start from here 1 2 3 4 5 okay so here we have this ketone group present to the second carbon atom so the name of this compound is pent in 2 on because this is uh, here we have the five carbon atoms so pent and this is uh, has been derived from the alkane so pentane two on two on why because the carbon atom um, containing the carbonyl group is the second one we will do one more example here let us try this one ch3 ch co ch2 ch CH3 okay so here we have substituents CH3 CH2 okay so we will find out the longest chain this is going to be 1 2 3 4 5, 6 and 7. So, so what is the name of this organic compound? We have substituents at uh, second and the fifth carbon atom. We will go alphabetically. So, the name is 2 5 dimethyl Heptane three O. So how we got this uh, name for the organic this organic compound? You can see a one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So seven carbon atoms. So heptane is there, and we have the methyl substituent present here and here. So two methyl groups. So dimethyl, and uh, they are present as second and the fifth carbon atom. So, 2,5-dimethylheptane-3-ON. So, today we have learnt about the nomenclature of aldehydes and ketones. To learn more about the aldehydes and ketones and more chemistry topics, visit and subscribe to the channel Chemistry Class. Thank you.